you know the power of story. And in fact, you know that you have a story to share with the world. However, maybe you're a little stuck on how in the world you work up the nerve to put it out there. Where do I start crafting it? Don't worry. This week in three steps, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn your mess into a message so you can leave a lasting impact with your story. So if you want to really take your story and use it to inspire others and to really connect with your audience, the first thing we have to do is identify what part of our story do we really need to work on. So if you're anything like me and you really want to take that mess and turn it into a message, the first thing we need to do is identify the adversity. At what point in our life have we been through some really hard times, some challenging things? You know, what are those things that we're maybe not so proud of? What is that mess for you? Point it out, write it down, and determine today that that is going to be the mess that you transform into a message of hope for others. First step. (laughs) So once you have identified that piece, the next thing we're going to do is rewrite it. Let's rewrite that story and shift our perspective. You know, when we're going through something difficult, when we're in the thick of it, you know, all we see are the dark clouds, the rain, everything that is sitting on our shoulders, that elephant on our chest, and we can barely breathe. But once we make it through it and we're looking back, we can have the opportunity to look at it with a fresh set of eyes. We get a new perspective and we can actually rewrite that story. So today, I want you to look back on that adversity you've pointed out. And I want you to look at it with those fresh eyes. How can you focus on the strength that was developed during this time rather than the struggle that you really endured? What good came out of that? Did it make you stronger? Did it make you more determined? Did it make you go out and do things that maybe otherwise you would have never had the courage to do? What good was a result of your hard time? How can you shift that perspective? Now, this might be a little hard, so don't be afraid to phone a friend. Sometimes we're our biggest critics and we can't even see the good that has come from our hard times. So call up a friend, a neighbor, mom, dad, whoever was there who has seen you grow and progress and change and listen to them. Trust them. They've been looking at you a whole lot better than we look at ourselves because let's be real, we're our own worst critic. So today, that's all I want you to focus on. Just pick the mess and then look at it from a new perspective. But make sure that you go below and download the worksheet. It's going to walk you through this process step by step, like I'm there in the room coaching you through it. And while you're clicking around, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and send this video out to your friends. I know you're not the only business owner who's had some tough times, who really wants to make an impact in the world. So teach other people that they can use their stories to connect with their audience. You know they want to watch this. (laughs) And make sure you tune back in tomorrow because in part two, we're going to dig into how do we own our stories. Once we know what it is, how do we stand behind it and tell it with pride? That part's a little scary, right? (laughs) Well, thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you tomorrow so I can watch you own your story and ultimately turn your mess into a message.